Hello and welcome to Vanguard Live. This is News Roundup. My name is Precious Tripudi. I'll run with you the headlines. NDDC failed siege in Port Harcourt storm in Abuja. COVID-19 federal government threatened sanction probes the fitting in over violation of airport protocols. 774,000 job controversy. Lawan Bajabi Amila meets Buhari. Schools resumption will vigorously enforce COVID-19 protocols, says Southwest State. Total of prayer are to be buried in Abuja with full military honors. House of Reps summons Akbabio Ponde. CSO slams Governor Wiki, accusing him of frustrating NDDC pro. Now to the stories. NDDC failed siege in Putakot storm in Abuja. Governor Yeson Wiki of River State yesterday rescued Ms. Joy Nune, former acting managing director, interim management committee of the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, when he stormed her Putakot residence and freed her from a siege mounted by policemen. Wiki's move in Putakot kicked off a series of events in NDDC in Abuja with reactions from some women groups and the Forum of South South Governors. Wiki arrived at her residence in the GRA section of the Oi City yesterday morning and ordered armed, armed policemen around out of his way. He then entered the house and was seen driving her, out, uh, her off in his convoy. COVID-19 federal government threatening sanction probes Yari pitting over violation of protocols, airport protocols. The federal government is probing reported violation of COVID-19 safety protocols by some high-profile Nigerians accessing some of the newly reopened airports in the country. The probe governor's, governor, government said involving Adama State Governor Adamo Fitiri and the former governor of Zamfara State, Abdulazi Yari, in which a view to sanctioning violators if it's established that he indeed violated the rules or apologized to them should the results of the investigation exonerate them. 774,000 job controversy. Lawan Bajabi Amila meets Buhari. President Muhammad Buhari yesterday met behind closed doors with the President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, and Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabi Amila, at the Presidential Villa, Abuja. He said the National Assembly has always tried to ensure that the right thing was done for the country and that the president was in full support of the opposition. Speaking to the State House of Correspondents after the meeting, Lawan said Buhari has made a del deliberate effort to ensure a good relationship between the two arms and one political appointees not to jeopardize the harmonious bond between the legislature and the executive arms of government. And we're going to go on a short break. When we come back, we'll take more stories.
Welcome back. School resumption will vigorously enforce COVID-19 protocols. Following the decision by the Southwest states to allow students in the zone seat for the West African Examination Council, WIEC, some states in the region have expressed readiness to follow the COVID-19 protocols before schools resume. Ekitiogu and Ocean State yesterday promised to vigorous enforce the COVID-19 protocol. The Ekiti State Commissioner for Education, Science and Technology, Mr. Felucio Daramola, said this at a meeting of the State Universal Basic Education Board, Superb, management held with the head teachers of public primary schools in Ado Ekiti. He disclosed that plans are underway to appoint and train focal persons in all schools to ensure compliance with the COVID-19 protocols when schools resume. And we'll move straight to stories on social media. And there's a hashtag trending, hashtag save Nigerian students. And I'll take some tweets from here. And this is from Life of an Extrovert saying, uh, please hashtag save Nigerian student. We are tired of sitting at home. Head is getting heavy. Brain is getting dull. Uh, errands are getting too much. Body is getting too fat. House strength is wasting. Other things are accumulating and future plans are getting delayed. Uh, this is from Yinka Adewumi Morales saying, hashtag save Nigerian student. It says, if you can reopen markets, nothing should stop you in reopening schools. And away from that, we'll take this one from Main Jewel, uh, who is also still talking about the hashtag uh, save Nigerian student. Uh, she says, you can't resume domestic flights and schools remain short. Uh, interstate travels has resumed, yet students can't travel back to school. Yes, yes, we may just be 10% of the population, but we are 100% of the future. It's now or never, Aluta continues, hashtag Save Nigerian Student. Moving away from Save Nigerian Student, we move straight to Fahim Sali, and that's the CEO of Gokada bus that was uh, killed. And uh, there are reports on further investigations of what the story is saying, and this one is from Gimba Kakanda. He says, Fahim Sal Saleh was killed by his 21-year-old PA. He found out the PA was stealing from him, but didn't report him to the authorities. He set up what amounted to a repayment plan for him to return the money. Sometimes our biggest weakness is our kindness. It's a very sad one. Uh, this one is from Sugar Belly saying, uh, When I said these things about how people under you are so wicked and evil, you people said I was mean. Uh, Fahim Saleh's assistant stole over 10,000 US dollars from him. Instead of calling the police to arrest him, Fahim allowed him to repay the theft small, small, only to be rewarded with his mother. And this is from Leo da Silva saying, New York Times is reporting that Fahim Saleh was killed by his PA who owed him money and refused to pay. This is exactly why I was angry at all the hot takes saying that uh, Fahim owed the wrong people money. Don't be in a hurry to be insensitive. Exactly, people are too quick to judge. And um, this one is um, from Still Leo that you are saying, PA was stealing, Fahim Saleh uh, finds out. Fahim didn't report to police, cut a deal for him to repay in installment. PA didn't want to pay anything and kill Fahim. Uh, Twitter people, he owed the wrong people money all right uh those are the stories that we're going but we're going to go on a very quick break when we come back we'll discuss further be right back
Welcome back. And still on the headlines, NDDC failed siege in Port Harcourt, storm in Abuja. COVID-19, federal government threatens sanctions, probes Yari Fitiri over violation of airport protocols. Schools resumption will vigorously enforce COVID-19 protocols, say Southwest State. 774,000 job controversy, Lawan Pajami Amila meets Buhari. And lastly, Tolu Lope Arutili to be buried in Abuja with full military honors. And that's what we have for you on the news roundup. To become a win next time, stay safe and thank you for watching.